Okay guys, I uh, went and bought a battery. I already put it on. I didn't think to record putting the battery on. I just kind of did it. Uh, anyway, I got my booster box on just to help it, but it's a brand new battery. And we're gonna see if that makes a difference. People on the internet seem to think that it might change things. I don't understand it if it does. But only one way to find out. Are you kidding me? Come on, baby. It's running good, but it's running. Holy cow! Woo! A freaking battery! All I needed was a battery! Let me get y'all in here. I know that y'all are always on the tripod, but I ain't believing this. It seems to be running a little rough, but you know, I've it's been sitting for a while, so we're gonna let it sit here and run and do the things. Unbelievable. There it is, 14 years of sitting, and it's sitting here idling. 77 miles. Odometer, 77 miles. any sense of that to, to me the cranking amps on my booster box are far superior to the cranking amps of this motorcycle battery but as God is my witness the only thing I did to this thing today is well yesterday I went and bought the battery and I charged it overnight. I should have videotaped that, but I didn't. And then installed it, which again, I should have videoed, but I really didn't think that it was gonna make that any difference. And thankfully I was wrong. So, unfortunately it's raining so it's gonna be a tomorrow or something before we can go ride it. But I thought we could go ahead and button it up. And I'm not gonna, obviously I'm not gonna ride it hard when I do go ride it because it's been It's technically not even broke in. I'm gonna 
get the stuff to, an oil filter and stuff like that we'll change the oil on it and uh, you know we don't want to tear anything up obviously so we'll get the oil changed on it and then we can go ride it and sell it get it sold um, I appreciate everybody's comments and help they certainly didn't fall on deaf ears it's kind of hard sometimes dealing with the internet when you're trying to troubleshoot something because everybody thinks you're assumes you're an idiot And I'm pretty mechanically inclined. I don't do, a, haven't done a lot of motorcycle stuff, but I've worked on cars for 30 years, and uh, anyway, there it is, buttoned up. Like I said, we'll do an oil change on it. I just got to get the stuff to do it. And uh, we may end up going ahead and put a set of plugs in it just because they're so old. But for now, it runs. It's mind blowing to me that a battery is what was stopping it from starting. You guys have a good day, and we'll go ride it as soon as the weather clears up. Okay, guys, I'm going to go for the first ride on the Busa. Uh, I'm not going to go very far. I just want to go around the block. It's cold. It's wet. The roads are kind of dry now, so the, the bike won't get very dirty. But uh, I just can't help myself. It's been too wait, too long waiting. I got I to gotta go around the block. So here we go. It rides like a new bike, as you might imagine. Uh, thanks for following me along on this journey, guys. I've got a couple other ideas, some other projects that I need to work on. Get my helmet off here. I don't know if we'll if we'll show any more stuff with the high booster or not. I've got some other ideas. Like I said, I've got a lot of vehicle projects. You guys seem to really like the Hayabusa stuff, but it's not every day you find something like this. So uh, this will probably be the end of the Busa series. Thanks for everything, guys. Thank y'all.